the best the best is we get like a a two percent pump and then like oh my god we're going to a hundred thousand dollars what's going on alex o crypto here shed it to you guys shed it to the otter gang uh let's get into it maybe today's the false move let's jump into the charts what's going on hope you guys are all having a wonderful wonderful day it's the morning update we do every single monday to friday we also go live at 3 p.m eastern standard time hope you're all having a wonderful day and had a wonderful weekend okay let's get into this price are we going to go up are we going to go down that's always the question here but we we tend to try to give you an idea and then We'll give you some ideas of which way price can go in the nitty gritty in the short term time frames so we can take advantage of the price action. OK, so coming up to the top of this little wedge here, can we break out? We'll have to wait and see. We've gotten a little bit of a rejection, a pump overnight. OK, that's something to be aware of. False move Mondays. We'll have to see. We know we know we know um, that we have a lot coming our way. We have. You know, Jerome pow pow speaking tomorrow. We have core inflation, inflation rates. Okay, Thursday, building permits. Um, even Chet, Chair Powell speaking next Sunday, man. This is ruthless. Okay, this is ruthless. We got the sell in May go away. We got Bitcoin price kind of stagnant right now. However, how do we prepare, right? How do we prepare? Well, we start with a top down analysis on Bitcoin. So, this is how we're going to, how we're going to do it, my friends. You can see the wedge I drew, okay? We're aware of that. Up or down, I'm not a pattern trader, okay? I like to stack confluences. Now we'll go back to our three-day, and our three-day is posturing to the upside, okay? So we were talking about this too, where we get like this stagnant kind of waiting to pop up, okay? Waiting to pop up, and eventually we do pop up, and that tends to be a bigger move, okay? So we're anticipating something like this, maybe coming back down and then re-entering to the upside here and oscillating above, okay? That's something we want to see. We can see a nice curvature coming in on our three-day here, flattening out, okay? This is a very long, long, drawn-out money flow, okay? So this is what we're anticipating. We want to see that crossover, and I believe when we get the first one, it'll be the fake out. The next one will be the actual move, okay? So we're going to be aware of this, and let's see what transpires. Now, we do have major resistance. Those major resistances, as we can see, if we pull volume across here, we can see that it's going to be getting above 64,000 and getting above 67,000, okay? Those are two major areas alongside with a golden pocket coming in right at 67,000 for our entire range. Okay, so can we get above that? That would be nice. That would really get me on the side of we could be looking to come back to the highs. You can see we're clearly making um, lows right now. We have put in a little bit of a higher high, so we're looking for that bounce and that push up. And when we get that bounce above 67,000, then I... I will tend to look a little bit more bullish. But right now, I look for consolidation and sideways. I think what they're trying to do is they're really trying to get us bored, right? They're trying to get us bored while they accumulate, while they, you know, make their mischievous plans. Maybe sell a man go away. Maybe they're just at the cottage laughing at all of us who are on this thing daily. But guess what? Up or down, side to side, we'll continue to make money on this. So going over here, we're getting a green dot, okay? Getting a green dot on the head and shoulders pattern, okay? Everybody is excited about this head and shoulders pattern. Do you think they'll let everybody take advantage of this? And just, just ask yourself that question sometimes. Will they let everybody take advantage of this, okay? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, think, I, I smell fake out. Okay, Monday's typically a false move. Um, you get that false move up, getting everybody excited, and then they dump it on our ass, coming back and grabbing liquidity before heading up, okay? That's more the side I'm leaning on just to protect my emotions. Um, but nonetheless, um, we'll go with what the charts are telling us. And we're getting a nice crossover here on the view up here. And the green dot has printed. Not printed. Has printing. Okay, it hasn't done yet. So we'll see how today works out to be. This could disappear if we do get a dump from here. Okay, so be very aware of that. It's not confirmed yet. Going over the 12 hour, it is confirmed. It is moving up. You can see money slowly starting to creep up. But we weren't convinced about this last night. We went, we did a live stream on a Sunday. Amazing. So um, we weren't convinced of this yet. It's very choppy and very um, un, 
recognizable here. It it looked bearish AF when when we got this dump here, and right now it's kind of like anchor trigger wave. But I'm not convinced on this trigger wave here. Um, I would like to see a little bit deeper, and this pattern right here is very sketchy. Um, within within the price action, so we're we're watching that as well. Now going over to four hour. And getting into like the nitty gritty of it, you know what I mean? What can we see here? So we do have that trend line um, up and down, right? We're coming and touching the top of it here. We also have that head and shoulders pattern. If we extend this right neckline, all that good stuff um, where we can be looking for a breakout, right? Um, to me, we haven't come down and grabbed liquidity yet. Okay, you can see there is liquidity down here. Um, and you're coming up and you're getting a rejection off the top liquidity, right? So for me right now, I'm either looking for a swing into this order block here or coming down and grabbing the actual liquidity down below. Now, if I do zoom out and we do pull up our other indicator of where liquidations lie, we can see here on the 12 hour that there's two options, of course. There's just the long and the short of it, right? So there's a short squeeze up top. Right, which these guys have had it way too easy. Okay, in my opinion, that's I'll keep saying that because it does seem like this has been too easy, right? But these guys too have had it way too easy. So either way, there could be that liquidity grab coming back down here around fifty nine thousand, or if we do drop, I would say that would be around fifty thousand. You could see the bulk of it lying down here at the lower part of this range within here. Um, but currently, we are holding up above a very key level okay and you can see here that i have a yellow level this is the 60,500 level okay and this 60,500 level acted as a major major level of support in our previous bull run okay you can see here that anytime we got below the top okay we 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 hung out at the top last cycle right here and you can see that it held as support and resistance here so this is like my very much line in the sand that if we're below it, it's kind of um, a little bit bearish. And if we're above it, we're holding for another move. Okay, so we are holding for another move right now um, and haven't lost that support and overall looking okay. So what am I looking for for today? What am I going to get into? Well, the first thing I always, always get into is this amazing, amazing discord that we have here. Greed is at 57, a little bit lower than expected. This is a good sign. I like seeing this lower. I would like to see it even lower, okay? I don't think we go into a fear, but I do like to see it, you know, not an extreme greed. But we do have an amazing Discord with free trade setups. I will post my charts here after the live stream. Brewberry does a live stream. Kyle gives trade setups in advance. Lunar Beaches does a whole bunch of charting. Schaefer does a whole bunch of charting. We are always prepared as a community. If you want the alpha, it's in the Discord, okay? Free setups, all that good stuff. Also, we are sponsored by Blowfin and Market Cipher, the two best in the industry. Market Cipher, free code down below for 20% off. And Blowfin has 40% cashback incentives, okay? So sign up with all that stuff and get your trading started. We just did a Blowfin tutorial on futures trading as well yesterday, uploading that for you guys as well. And we have the vlog, the big final vlog of the basement renovation. I am also a carpenter if you're new here, and I did renovate our whole basement. And the vlog is coming out, it is edited, and we're just figuring out an update, update date for you guys as well. Now let's get back into the price, enough of that stuff. Let's look at this. So we're looking for the breakout. Continuation push to the upside. Four hours suggesting anchor trigger wave money flows in the green. Looking okay, a little bit overextended. Okay, when we flip into these, the two hours still a bit overextended. So what can we be looking? We have our areas that we are looking to buy and sell. This is our golden pocket. This is a liquidity grab up above, okay? We have come up, we have rejected from here. So right now, I'm looking for a rejection and continuation. If I'm going to get really into the nitty gritty, I'd be looking for a retest of these highs coming back to like a golden pocket 786, okay? So that would be the initial idea here. So I go from swing low to swing high as well. And you can see you got a golden pocket within this area. This would be a retest, okay? If we do come back down and retest, this would be my area right now and definitely looking for that possible long setup, okay? If we push out and beyond this trend line here, I am looking for a breakout trade. I'm looking for this to push, okay? I'd like to see this, this, push out, 
come into our cell wall, maybe retest, and continue up like that, okay? Patience. Patience is going to be key. It's Monday. Let the price come to you guys. Be very cautious. Overall, crypto looking okay. We're getting a push across. The volatility is all right. We look across over. I saw a lot of recovery throughout Ethereum. Ethereum pushing back up as well. Okay. I saw a recovery in ADA. Nice recovery after trickling down over the weekend. Okay. Caspa getting a little bit of a rejection. Got really bullish coming back into that range. So overall, the market is looking stagnant, but yet um, we'll be patient and wait for that those trades to come to us. I know that um, Super got a nice move. We can see if that continues up. Beam as well. Look for a little bounce on there. But overall, right now, let's, let's be patient. I'm going to share these charts with you guys in the Discord. I'll be looking for a bounce from here, a rejection from up here at our sell wall. And we'll see if we get out of this downwards wedge. Okay, guys, much love to every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Subscribe if you're new. Join us in the free Discord. All that good stuff. Much love to you guys and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Peace.